Well, welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it's spring semester 2013. And this week, I thought since it's the week before spring break, I won't teach you anything um, substantially new. We'll just go over um, four different geoprocessing problems. And your homework assignment will be to solve um, two of the four problems using Python scripting. So the first problem is a classic editing problem. We've got um, some streams, and the direction of these streams should all be flowing downstream. And if we look at the direction of these streams by symbolizing with an arrow at the end of every line, there's two lines that do not flow downstream. So this would be one line that's incorrectly flowing upstream, and this line incorrectly flowing upstream. So basic, basically your Python script will select each line and then check, is it flowing downstream? And if it's not flowing downstream, then it will simply flip the line. Okay, so the second problem will be a problem of point counts in one feature associated with um, a second feature. So here we've got um, lines representing streams, and we've got points representing different salmon species. So the red points are representing sockeye or red salmon, and the gray points are representing um, coho or silver salmon, and then the yellow or the purple points are representing chum salmon. And your script will summarize for each stream the total number of salmon counted along that line. So for example, for Moose Creek, your script would report, report there are two chum salmon counted on that line. And for Willow Creek, it would report how many coho salmon, how many red salmon, and how many um, chum salmon are counted along that Willow Creek line. So basically, it will loop through every line counting the salmon associated with each stream. Okay, the third problem is reporting the percentage within Polygon. So here's an example. We have watershed basins, and we have a second layer of permafrost. And what we want to know is for each watershed basin polygon, within that polygon, what is the percentage of permafrost. So for example, this P5 basin is almost permafrost free. It will have a very low percentage of permafrost. And this C3 basin will have a fairly high percentage of permafrost within that C3 polygon. So basically your Python script will loop through each watershed polygon and then inside each watershed polygon compute the intersection with this permafrost polygon and then store that in a field called percent for each polygon in this polygon attribute table. Okay, and the final problem we're going to um, cover this week is the distance between points. So here, for example, we've got radio colored animal locations. And what we want to know is for each location, what was the distance traveled from the previous point to the current point? So for example, um, for location one, that was the previous point. So for location two, what was the distance traveled from point one to get to point two? All the way up to our last point, which is point 30. So for point 30, what was the distance traveled to get to that point? So basically, you know the location of the previous point, and you know the location of point 30, so you can calculate that distance. Okay, so those are the four problems that I'll go over with in the four next video sessions. And if you go to the NRM638 website, there's the PDF 
describing how to download the data and exactly what the problems are for your homework assignment.